All right, so today, you know, got a little, you know, something special for y'all. I played against the number one pro-am team in NBA 2K24, and I just wanted to show you how it went. You know, being one of the top tens, you know, a lot of people come up with this assumption that, you know, we're not good at the game or things like that. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a little series or, you know, a couple games against the number one pro-am team in NBA 2K24. You know, real quick, the pro-am team that we did play was this team named Lane Hogs. You know, I, I got a couple of things to say about this team, but you you know, I'll leave that till later down in the video, but as you can see, they are 1,700 and 308, you know, a couple weeks into the season. So yeah, man, I mean, they must be good, right? I mean, 1,700 wins and 300 losses, they, they must be pretty good at the game. A lot of you guys always ask, you know, what build I'd be playing on? Like, you know, for example, in the 2v2 logo gauntlet, people are like, yo, what build do you play on? What build are you on? So, you know, I, I'm gonna be nice and, you know, this time I'm gonna actually show it, you know, to be honest. I, yeah, to be honest, I just don't really, you know, expect you guys to really care about the build i'm on but i got you uh in the in these you know you know series of gameplays this was the build that i was on i was on a six foot four three point shot hunter i had a 98 three point with a 95 ball handle you know honestly it's not that you know crazy of a build it's more or less just a pro-am build 3v3 if i just want to get threes up every possession and you know just have a good time score a lot you know not really any defense uh, not much offense other than standing dunk but you guys are gonna see like i mainly only three hunt in the gameplay but yeah man there's not much else to say let's just get right into playing against the number one pro-am team in NBA 2K24. Yo, yo, I, 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 I'm tired of saying this every single video. Just go down and hit that subscribe button, please. I mean, do your boy a favor. All right, let's get right back into it. All right, so here we go, man, playing against the number one pro-am team. I mean, it's a pretty basic lineup. You know, anytime you're gonna be playing someone competitive, in my opinion, in like the 3v3 scenario, I heard a lot about this team, like how they be, you know, no lifing and they're, you know, always the number one for like the past couple seasons. So, you know, I had to show them something, you know, I got three gameplays for you guys and I'm gonna I'm just, you know, I'm gonna lock in real quick and we're gonna, you know, go over these gameplays. So you see me though, you know, sizing up, trying to get open, but you know, the problem with this, the, as you'll see with these guys' is PNR defense is that they were playing super high. So, you know, I gotta tell Alex to go ahead and, you know, hit the low, hit the low quick slip. Alex does get the pluck there and it gives us the ball right back. Just wanted to put it out there that all these games are, they, they were streamed on, you know, Rick's Twitch, you know, my teammate, my lockdown, YX Rick on Twitch, go ahead and, you know, Go ahead and check him out if you know you want to watch us hoop sometime. Yeah, that's where that's the place to be. This this guy Ray wins. I thought he was gonna shoot, I'm not gonna lie, but he just passes it to the center in the paint, out to the lockdown. And you know, honestly, this first game, I this guard really wasn't, you know, uh, showing too much to me. And then he just pulls a corner three right in front of Alex's face. I mean, like, I don't know, you know, there there's there might be an allegation out there that he's plugged. You know, there there might be something going on behind behind the scenes with that controller, but I, I don't know. You know, I'm gonna hit Alex on that quick slip because uh, the, that center for some reason even though i have a 93 acceleration and hall of fame speed booster he would you know still keep up with me i mean it doesn't really make sense you know me alex and rick we play a lot and you know I to, we don't re we play a lot but at the same time we also play 3v3 pro-am a lot so we don't really run into that many you know comp or you know competitive games in general so you know it's always a breath of fresh air when we play teams like this you see me though trying to get a three i get the half court shots and it was kind of deep for no green machine i'll, I'll give it to him you know alex unfortunately couldn't get the rebound but with my extra attributes with plus seven i'm not gonna lie i definitely have confidence to shoot that and you know if you guys played against me you probably know that i i, I just chuck shit up i gotta be honest if i have an open shot i'm gonna take it and that center gets the two here so we're down by three now and i'm like all right we gotta lock in like you know i know i took a couple bad shots uh, i i missed them to be fair but you know, just go ahead and quick slip so I can get closer to my takeover. And you know, we, we're just gonna have to get a stop. We're gonna thug it out and stop this point guard Ray wins. They are the number one team, but we still gotta get him. As you can see, he's L2 canceling. He definitely knows like how the game works. He did definitely plays it all day. And he gets the three up there. So now we're down by four, but you know, don't fret because the comeback of hell is about to start. As you can see, I mean, this lockdown is literally stiff arming me to the mid range from the right wing. You know, I'm trying to get open behind the back though. Jamal Murray behind the back is very important and alex from the corner i mean he's just not gonna miss alex one thing about him is that you can't leave him open he's gonna make it every single time no matter if it's you know top of the key corner wing i'm glazing but if you're watching this i mean you know you gotta respect it alex we're not gonna talk about the defense here i'm not gonna lie i, I kind of went for a blitz as a troll in you know the discord or party chat and you guys didn't you know get to hear that but you know i left the lock accidentally wide open in the corner it is what it is but we're still down by four 
I mean, like, Alex got that three, but they got a three back. So, I mean, you know, it's really time to lock in. As you can see, you know, I'm trying to make it happen. I'm trying to get a three, but this center is playing so high. It's, like, impossible for me to get anything. So, Alex really just got to take his twos. I mean, I don't know why I'm not getting the ball here. I have zero points, so, like, I got to respect it a little bit. But it all changes here when I shoot. I shot from pretty much the same place, you know, before in the video. And this time, I actually greened it. I don't know if it's because my takeover was closer to 100. Maybe I was a little more locked in. I don't really got an answer for you, but you know, I finally got to green a shot. So, you know, the score differential is down to one and unfortunately Rick is out the play, but he misses it. You know, Ray wins actually missed a shot. You know, maybe the Zen allegations are going to get, you know, beaten here, but Alex didn't get that board. He gets another three and that's going to be off as well. Alex, thank you for getting that board. That was a risky shot, but you know, I got Patty Mills on. That was a 44% contested. In my opinion, Hall of Fame blinders, you know, that's a pretty good shot, especially with Patty Mills. He was definitely pissed that I just shot that in his face. Had to leave the lock 50 ball. You know, he's not going to make it, especially with the pressure being down by two now. Us being up by two, it's so much pressure, and he just shoots a smothered. I don't really know what the game plan was with that shot. I mean, maybe he felt like he got a little bit of space, but you know, I got takeover now. Unfortunately, I hit Alex, you know, which isn't really unfortunate because he was open at the mid range. That point guard, you know, he had no chance against a 6'8 popper. I think this guard was like maybe 6'2 or 6'3. I don't really know. He looks kind of small by the gameplay. But, you know, he's not going to stand a chance when you have a 6'8 popper just, you know, going at you. And I don't know how that wasn't a blitz, I'm going to be honest. Like, it was a blitz, but at the same time, it's their ball. I mean, that's just, you know, messed up. We got unlucky this whole series when it came to, you know, plucks and steals and things like that. You guys are going to see. And he goes up for the dribble mid-range pull-up like we're playing 5v5 Pro-Am. I mean, are we in 2K22? Are we in 5v5 Pro-Am? Or are we in 2K24 3v3 Pro-Am? I mean, honestly... I don't really know. It's up in the air for sure. I got my sharp badge, so you know, I want to try and get a three, but it makes me fade here, unfortunately. Sometimes it makes me do that, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll get the fade, and he gets the steal, and I, I, I just, you know, I spam my square button back, and then I proceed to smash my desk. I mean, it's just good. It's just not good for business. Back to what I was saying, though. Like, if my game feels a little bit too delayed, I, I, like, for some reason, like, it just won't let me quick stop or peek or anything like that. It'll just make me take that fade like I had on the left wing. As you can see, my teammates are, you know, trying to get a stop back for me. They're double teaming the sh out of this guard you know i gotta i gotta feel bad sometimes but at the same time i don't because they're giving me the same treatment but rick lets that two go down which it's fine you know at the end of comp games you, you might as well just let twos go down so you can get the ball back try and get a three you know i dex the thing about me if i have sharp badge i'm gonna try and dex my socks off but i couldn't get the you know open possibility i get it here kinda but i don't shoot it for some reason and i just let them get the blitz point guard is feeling real out of body here i don't know where this came from but he decided to go for that dribble pull up and i got the off ball i'm gonna shoot that corner three with sharp badge and you know get to match point 20 to 17 i mean this game has been a wild ride i mean we were down by four at one point and now we're up by three with the final possession my teammates try and get the steal, but unfortunately, you know, Alex decides to just mash his square button in. Another thing about Alex, since we're here, you know, it's, you know, we're going to talk about Alex, you know, his shooting is defensive. If he tries to go for a steal, he's going to go for it extra hard. What I mean by this, spam his square button. That's pretty much all I mean. You know, th this point guard, I don't know how he got the off ball to the corner, the wrap. I mean, it wasn't even like a dex. I mean, that was just ridiculous. But I don't know, Rick, maybe we got to hit the Gatorade gym and we got to practice on that. But, you know, it's all right because, you know, big time players make big time plays when it's 20 to 20 and what i mean by that is alex you know going for the slip and rick getting his redemption arc i mean you know the corner three was bad for business but then he got a corner three back on the opposite side i mean rick that's just how we end games that was game one though against the number one pro-am team in nb 2k24 we won 23 to 20 and you know we got to get into game two i mean that, the game to me i only had nine points so it wasn't that you know impressive so to say but as a team you know we balled out so now this is where i gotta rant a little bit as you can see we're playing against the same team lane hogs but they have a different lineup so basically what they do right i, I don't want to give out the sauce directly but let's just say they do a little you know method so they can you know play countless games a day that's all i gotta say i'm not gonna go deeper into that because you know i don't want to get them in trouble or anything like that but you know we're okay so we're playing you know a different lineup i'm, I'm still in the same build my 6-4 i have different you know hair and face scan but i mean yeah we're playing a different team and this is gonna be a little bit of a different outcome as you can see i mean alex gets that too i'm trying to get my badge rick's gonna spam square 
And th this rotation of the Lane Hogs Pro-Am team, I mean, they weren't the best. I mean, the point guard's name is Boxed B. Selling. Can we like, can we talk about that real quick? Box be selling. I don't know, bro. That's bad names. Alex gets it. I go up for the three and I'm just not going to knock it down. But you know, the reboard's going to be there and I'll get the corner three regardless. Having teammates that can, you know, get the offensive rebound and kick it back to you when you're off balling. I mean, it's just, it's just chef's kiss. I mean, I got to be honest. It's just, you know, as a point guard, if you like to, you know, run on the off ball, it's just amazing. You know, you get the ball back on offense, you hit the corner shot and you just feel great about yourself. But back to business though, box be selling selling crazy PSNs. I mean, like there's a lot of bad PSNs I've seen, you know, with the whole 2K, you know, be killing. Um, what, what, what else is there? Th this lockdown's bugging with that corner shot. I'm gonna be honest, but like the, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. The be killings, the be sellings, things like that. You know, I be selling right there. I mean, missing, you know, basically wide open shots, but as I said, those offensive rebounds, they be hitting. Yeah, I refreshed my screen there. I just had to, you know, if you guys remember back in the old 2Ks, and not even really the old 2Ks, but the recent ones, you know, refreshing your screen. I still got that habit, I'm not gonna lie. If I feel a little bit of delayed, I'm gonna, you know, hold my PlayStation button down and reset that delay. But you guys can see the score is 8-0, so, you know, this rotation of, you know, the Lane Hogs roster, it's not that good. Unfortunately, Rick was scratching his balls there. So, you know, the Alex had to, basically play a 1v2 on the PNR. I feel bad for my boy Alex, you know, he had to go through that. It's quite unfortunate. They get a three off of it. I'm trying to shoot some dumb shot and it went in. I mean, like the Jamal Murray behind the back into a Patty Mills, you know, jump shot. You can't go wrong with it. That wasn't really one of the brightest shots in the world, but I had to make it go. Alex does get the lane there, which is gonna just allow me to, you know, run down the court on the break and shoot absolutely whatever, because we're up 14 to three. And you know, this is the point where I'm like, all right, bet, let's just, you know, have some fun. Let me hit some fades. And Alex wants to continue hawking. So, you know, I'm gonna respect it. I'm gonna hit another right wing fade because why not? I mean, if I have another one, Agent 3 is on Hall of Fame. I mean, why not? 17 to three, this is like just an absolute flood. I mean, this roster, yo, you kids, if you're watching this, you gotta, you gotta kick these guys off the team. I mean, this is like Top Crew 2.0, but without, you know, event rewards, which, you know, not a lot of people know what Top Crew is, but you know, if you know, it's a more like, if you know, you know, kind of situation. These guys need to get kicked off the team pronto. At this point, they're just contributing to your L's. I mean, the, the, there's a 1700 wins. They're gonna be going up, but at the same time, the losses are gonna be going up with this team it's just bad for business the score is 19 to 6 now i had alex just take a two and you know it's 19 to 6 alex has mamba and he's still gonna try and get a stop i mean you just gotta respect it at some point box be selling though just running around the court he shoots a left hand fade and you know obviously it's just not gonna go in i mean if you guys thought that was gonna go in and you had faith i'm just sorry for you because it just it was just not the best shot especially when your team's morale is surely down the drain the lockdown hits the right wing there I mean, we're just letting them shoot whatever at this point. The game's pretty much over and we just want to get out of it. Get into our next game because you know, Rick is still trying to hit vet three. We got to get as much rep as possible in the times we play. I tried to hit another fade on the right wing, but you know, it was just bad for business. I mean, that one was a speed up and then Rick's just going to close out the game by getting the stop and running up the court and you know, getting the three up for himself. I had 15 points that game. I mean, that was really a blowout. This team is just not a team that you want in your, you know, roster. As the number one Pro-Am team, I'd be embarrassed to be on that team myself. But, you know, nonetheless, we are going to be getting into our third and final game where we had a really close game. So now this is where we get into our third and final game. And as you can see, it's another rotation of players. We got I'm Vowed, Reach, and Healin. I mean, it gets to a point where it's just shameless. You know, I wish I could play the same team you know, a couple games in a row, but unfortunately every single time I, you know, play against the number one Pro-Am team, it's a different, you know, squad. It is what it is, bro. Sometimes it's a flood, sometimes it's a close game, you know, at least it's, you know, a competitive game. Like that's all that really matters. But as you can see, this one's gonna be close. I I'm warmed up here, you know, the SIGs are SIGging and you know, his name is Reach, so he's gonna spam his Reach button. I mean, are we surprised? To be honest, I don't think we're that surprised. We, we gotta keep it 100 with ourselves, but we get the ball back, you know, on the inbound. And I, I gotta, you know, get something to work. I shoot a, a pretty good shot in my opinion, and it knocks down. I'm trying a different Patty Mills, you know, uppers here. 
if you guys do need jump shots i mean i did make a jump shot video just go make sure to check that out so now about their lineup this i'm vowed guy i'm not gonna lie he was kind of nice you know there was some points where he was definitely you know shining and you, you guys are gonna see that and you know later in the gameplay but he takes a quick slip there because you know alex and rick were kind of messed up on the pnr it is what it is sometimes you know your pnr defense is gonna be a little messed up and you just gotta thug it out but as you can see i'm gonna off ball again and we're up six two i get the knockdown three alex has a popper with high pass accuracy so you know when i play with the those poppers that have a decent amount of pass sack i'm gonna be you know going for the off ball a little bit because i know that i'm gonna get a quick die and i'm not really gonna fumble the ball but look at the guard though i'm not gonna lie i'm vod he he, he definitely knows how to do his thing i mean he's you know l2 canceling you know step back snatch backs whatever you you know you want to call it he was doing it but you know me though i'm gonna have to you know get a little shifty here i get the crab but unfortunately i don't get to knock it down i should have shot it a little bit earlier and they're out on the break and get a three so now we're down by one i mean like in my opinion i didn't shoot it too crazy of like a stupid shot so to say but you know it definitely it definitely didn't work in our advantage because now we're down by one and you know i'm either gonna have to take the two or the three but you know they're doubling hard and reach you know he's continuing to reach on dribble moves that really can't get plucked one thing i want you guys to realize if you're a lockdown or someone with steel i mean there's some dribble moves that you know you really can't steal so don't just you know mash your square button and you know try and be unlike the other center as well and not press your square button because you know that was an easy lane for that other center on the quick slip but alex just gets to knock it down back on defense so you see alex you know he's, he's gonna play up rick's gonna go back onto the centerpiece you know trying to get the switch so rick can actually play defense on a lockdown but that's a crazy shot in my opinion that definitely shouldn't have like you know went in it, it counted as open but you know I, that that's uh, props to him bro that's all i gotta say props to that pg i maybe would have shot that maybe would have not and they're you know they're half court pressing me i'm gonna hit alex and as you can see i have my badge now but the only problem is is that the other guard has badge rick got the stop you know thank the lord but you know there's a tiny little problem about you know what happens when rick gets you know stops i tend to throw them and you know i i feel bad because you know rick to be honest doesn't get a lot of fluky stops i mean it might be the build i don't know but you know when he gets those stops on the rare occasion you know, those fluke stops so you know he gets a lot of regular stops but the fluke ones i just tend to throw them you know i feel bad big bro you know i try not to do it but sometimes it just happens also right there i wish we could get a replay but that, that was supposed to be rick steel like that's exactly what i'm talking about this is one of the games where we got hoed a lot i mean especially right there i mean they got an inbound steal you know they just got a two where we should have got the lane i mean there was a lot of you know bullshit that happened in this game but you know you can't create excuses on 2k i mean you just can't i mean there's you know there's times for it and there's times not that was a horrible shot i'm not gonna lie i saw the vision there he's gonna be on the off ball and then he shoots another smothered i mean i don't get what the deal was with this guy and his smotheds maybe you know he had something going on i don't know but they're gonna half court press me again and alex is just gonna take the easy two it's just that simple i don't mind taking the twos especially in comp games like i, I really don't mind taking them because you know the score is going to get closer you know i'm going to give the chance for our lock and center to get a stop i mean it it's just good for business i'm not going to you know run around in three hunt he got another blitz but it's like it they're just not giving it to us i mean Tuka does not want to bless us in any way this game and you know the, the guard is running out of time he's gonna shoot that and the shot clock's gonna run but uh, once again another blitz where you know rick just doesn't get it I, I don't know what it is i don't know if it's the build as i said before if it's just unlucky i, I really just don't know nonetheless though we did get the stop so you know we're, we gotta we gotta ask the question here we got another stop am i gonna throw it or am i gonna score off of it i mean it's just a really good question i tried to get the rim run there but alex is on the right wing and i'm t that's the one time i'm telling you where alex is gonna miss i mean i i was you know gassing gassing him up i said he doesn't miss and you know that time he missed we don't get the defensive rebound there and the guard gets it on the right wing so now the score is 15 to 2 and it's looking bad for business i mean like when especially when the popper has badge now it looks bad for business i did get the three though i mean i saw the opening there with patty gold limitless you know I, i'm gonna i'm gonna definitely spark it but now it's time for big time players to make big time plays and get a stop and i'm just lying when i say that because you know the popper is wide open on the left wing i don't really know why you know i don't think we're gonna get an answer to that i i, I gotta you know i got a var review in and we didn't get you know we just didn't get a response to that one so i i'm you know tempted to get a three here but i try and you know get the crab and i do make it i mean we get the score equalized 18 to 18 
you know, I'm gonna get that, you know, I don't even know what that is, the regular breakdown combo or what, but it really helps me get crabs. I'm not gonna lie, that guard could have shot that there. It's the last possession, and once again, they just don't give Rick the, you know, the game-changing stop. The guard is, you know, I don't, he might be gas out of stamina. He gets that shot. He shoots a smothered. We're not going to get that rebound because the center has position. And Rick, unfortunately, just gets behind them. And that's game. I mean, that's just that's just all it is. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's just all she wrote. I mean, it really just comes down to sometimes, you know, us not getting the fluke stops or 2K just hoeing us. But, yeah, that was a little, you know, a couple games against playing the number one pro-am team on MB 2 k 24 I hope you guys did enjoy, you know, watching that. You know, I, I want your guys' opinions down in the comments below. Like, if you like those kind of structured videos, make sure you guys subscribe because we are on the road to 15k subs. I mean, that's the next milestone for me. If you guys aren't subscribed already and you watch a lot of the videos, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and like and comment as well. You know, do all of that good stuff that helps me out in the long run because, you know, I'm producing this consistent content for you guys. The least you guys you could do is click a couple buttons. But yeah, man, I'm out. That's all for me. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. I'm out.